Hi friends, welcome back to Celebrate Wonder. Today we are going to hear the story about the church growing. And how appropriate is this topic when we are able to come together in the sanctuary for the first time in over a year. So hopefully we will have the opportunity to see all of our friends and members of the congregation and see the church come back to life and grow. So today we're talking about Paul. And you may remember that Paul was originally known as Saul. And Saul was not a friend of the Jewish people. He persecuted the Jewish people. He was a tax collector. He took more money than he should. And he was just not nice to the Jews. Well, Saul had a conversion or a change on the road to Damascus. And he became Paul, and Paul became one of the most influential people in the early church, and he helped grow the church, and he went and told. He really took the go-and-tell message to heart, and he thought it was his job to go and tell people who weren't Jewish, so to the Gentiles, about the good news of Jesus Christ. So our story takes place when Barnabas brings Paul to the disciples and Paul wanted to join them. Well, the disciples were suspicious and rightly so because remember Paul persecuted the Jewish people and took too many taxes from them, too much money, not nice. They don't trust that Paul has changed. But Barnabas witnesses or says, let me tell you about what I have seen Paul do. And after they hear, the apostles hear Barnabas, they began to accept Paul. It's hard to trust people who hurt us. And it's hard to believe that people who hurt us can change. How can we truly trust that they've changed? That's what the Jewish people, the apostles, the followers of Jesus were struggling with in the story. However, Barnabas proved his faith and was supported, I'm sorry, Paul proved his faith and was supported by Barnabas. Sometimes you really can't trust a person again, but there are times through the wonderful working of the Holy Spirit and the love of Jesus where people do change. And we can see God working in these people, and we can be a witness for those in need. So let's turn to our Storybook Bible first. So the church grows. This is in Acts chapter 9, verses 26 through 31. Paul arrived in Jerusalem. He tried to join the disciples, Jesus' friends, but they were afraid of him. The disciples did not believe Paul had really become a follower of Jesus. Barnabas knew that Paul loved Jesus, so he brought Paul to the disciples. Barnabas told the believers Paul's story. Barnabas told the believers that Paul could be trusted. After this, Paul was able to work with the disciples to tell others about Jesus. Because Paul, the disciples, and all of the followers of Jesus told everyone about Jesus' life 
and love, the church grew. So let's see you Sunday and see our church grow. And here is our Deep Blue Bible. And let's read the story here. But Saul grew stronger and stronger. He confused the Jews who lived in Damascus by proving that Jesus is the Christ. After this had gone on for some time, the Jews hatched a plot to kill Saul. However, he found out about their scheme. They were keeping watch at the city gates around the clock so that they could kill him. But his disciples took him by night and lowered him in a basket through an opening in the city wall. When Saul arrived in Jerusalem, he tried to join the disciples. Then he found out that they were all afraid of him. They didn't believe he was really a disciple. Then Barnabas brought Saul to the apostles and told them the story about Saul seeing the Lord on the way and that the Lord had spoken to Saul. He also told them about the confidence with which Saul had preached in the name of Jesus in Damascus. After this, Saul moved freely among the disciples in Jerusalem and was speaking with confidence in the name of the Lord. He got into debates with the Greek-speaking Jews as well, but they tried to kill him. So that's twice poor Saul, they tried to kill him. When the family of believers learned about this, they escorted him down to Caesarea and set him off to Tarsus. Then the church throughout Judea, Galilee, and Samaria enjoyed a time of peace. God strengthened the church and its life was marked by reverence for the Lord. Encouraged by the Holy Spirit, the church continued to grow in numbers. So now, friends, why don't you pause my video and watch the Celebrate Wonder video on the website. Welcome back. So, I wonder, where did you see God in this story? If you could be a character in this story, which character would you be? What did this story tell you about the nature of God? The memory verse this month is, love each other like members of your family. That's from Romans chapter 12, verse 10. And our faith word is love. And our definition of love is the closeness and connection that we feel with God and others. I wonder, how does love grow? Who showed love in this story? How can love change us? What are some different ways you show love to the people in your life? What happens when you show love to others? How do they react? What do you think would happen if we showed unlimited and boundless love to everyone we encounter? What kinds of people do you see in the world? Is there someone in your life that you could see differently? We see lots of different people. There are rich people, there are poor people, there are white people and brown people and black people, but we are all children of God. And we should treat each other with love and respect. And sometimes we don't know why a person acts the way they do. Think about putting yourself in their shoes. And we might be able to see who that person truly is. To put yourself in another person's shoes 
meaning means to see things from their point of view. And if we were together, we'd play a game. We'd play a game where we would scramble each other's shoes and put them on and have to walk in each other's shoes. So, unfortunately, we're not there yet, but soon, soon we will be together. So let's bow our heads and say a prayer. And then if you would like, you can go to the website and watch the storybook, which is It Will Be Okay, Trusting God Through Fear and Change by Lisa Turkhurst, who is one of my favorite educators. So let's bow our heads. Dear God, help us to show one another boundless and unlimited love. Help us to be like Barnabas and understand that people who once mistreated us or mistreated others can change with your help. Help us be like Paul. Help us to go and tell with confidence the good news of your son Jesus. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Bye, friends. I'll see you next week.